Today's short is being brought to you by Goya Foods. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. And this is Wednesday, the 7th of December. And we're talking about teeing up the new year. I mean, it's so close now. You can almost see the finish line for this year. And yesterday we talked about doing small things to get big results, small changes. And today we're going to talk about the big decision, the big decision, whether you want to do something or maybe you don't want to. There's five things that I had actually jotted down here that I wanted to talk about in this short today. And number one is to be aware that you've got a choice. Now, some people may feel that they've been victimized or that may not realize that they're making an unconscious choice. I think the first thing you got to do is to reverse that, make the unconscious a conscious one. For example, if you're unhappy at your job, you may be choosing security over happiness and recognize that as a choice. And remember that you can always change that too. Okay, you can always change that where you don't do anything. But I think that's the $64,000 question. Is this big decision you're going to make all yours? Do you own this thing? Or maybe you do just need an attitude change and kind of stay where you are. So that's kind of the first thing I think you need to realize that you've got a choice in this whole thing. And secondly, notice that when fear it starts to get rear its ugly head and become a big thing, it's not uncommon if you're going to make a big decision in your life that you're going to have to deal with some fear, some uncertainty. That's okay. I mean, that's part of the whole process. But I think if you realize that fear becomes to dominate the situation, that you got to realize, hey, I got to do one of two things. I got to bite this thing back in the face and just conquer the fear, just go right through it. Or I have to reconsider that I'm going to wimp out. (laughs) If I'm going to wimp out, maybe I just need to put on my big boy pants and realize what I really want to do here. But fear has got to be handled one way or the other. Either you're going to succumb to the fear And you're not going to do it and you're going to wimp out or you're going to just go right through it because fear is always going to be part of the process when you're talking about a gigantic decision that you're going to make. All right. So that's number two. And number three is surrendering. And what I mean when I surrender is that I'm in with both feet. Everybody knows it. I've jumped in. I've walked over to the other side, however you want to say it. I have surrendered myself that this is what I'm doing. You've heard the whole adage where you burn the ships out at sea and you people look back from the war and they see the ships burning out there in the ocean. There's no going back, man. We're either going to conquer or we're going to die right here. And that's kind of the way I look at the surrender part of this is when I surrender to do something, I'm in with both feet. There is no turning back. And so I think if you can look at this and say, I feel this much about it, that I'm going to surrender myself to this too, that you're going to be much better off. You're going to be in there wholeheartedly. And number four, ask for help. I mean, we're so fortunate today that most of us have somebody that we can really rely on, somebody that we value, somebody that we can trust, and somebody that we know that's going to be there for us no matter what. Hey, if you have a few close friends in your life, consider yourself very fortunate And if you have that, then go ahead and lean on that person and ask them for help. Somebody you trust, you're in there. Okay, that's number four. And finally, number five, and this might be the biggest one, is this big decision that you're about to make. While we take into consideration all the other aspects that I just mentioned, the number five is values. I can give you an example. Now, when I was retiring from baseball, I know that there was no doubt I could have played another three or four years making a lot of money. But at that particular time in my life, it wasn't right. And I would walk in the locker room at times towards the end of my career and thinking, man, I don't want to be here. I'm thinking I should be home with my children. And I was going through a tough time in my life where I was going through a divorce. It was either continue playing for the next four or five years and make a lot of money or go home and be a dad. And that's what I wanted to do. So that's what I made the decision. My values were such that... Being a dad was way more important than going on and playing baseball anymore. And you know what? It's something I wasn't loving, at least not nearly as much, because I'd be in the locker room thinking, man, this is kind of a job, you know. And when it gets to be just a job, I think you have to make that decision. So I made a big decision. I made a huge decision, and that was to leave something I've loved my whole life 
and make a change and go home and be with my kids because it was the value part of the whole scenario here that was easy, easy to make that decision for me. So I I think that what you have to do is stop for a second and really make an assessment of what your values are and how it's going to impact your life. And if it doesn't align with what your values are, then the decision is easy. It really is. You look at the situation, look at it going forward, and if it's nothing that you can live with value-wise, I mean, the decision's right there. And if it is, go ahead and make it, man, and jump in with both feet. And that's my short for today. Hey, everybody, Steve Sachs here. And if you're thinking about holiday gifts, why not give a Sachs in the morning mug or a hoodie or something from the swag department to keep up the inspiration and keep it fresh all day long? And don't forget the Sachs in the morning holiday gift cards available right now on the website. Or I can send a personalized audio message from you to whomever you wish. And you can find all of our gift ideas and my information for greetings right there on the website, SaxInTheMorning.com. And don't forget, if you or someone you know might be interested in a speaker for an event, you can find that information on the website as well. Just go to SaxInTheMorning.com. And thanks to Al Hendrickson Toyota for their support of this podcast. And be sure to visit AlHendricksonToyota.com. Toyota, let's go places.